Everybody just stuck in together. It is a love song. It was written for my friend Pete and my friend Megan. In Italy, they flew me and my man, the Luminesa Orchestra, to Italy to play the play. That was fantastic. Yay! Yeah, we well, you know, that's a good chance. Yeah. It was great to be flown to, <laughs> to Italy to get a wedding with, like, with a lovely friend. It was lovely. We ate lots of food. We, we ate appetizers. I didn't know they were appetizers, so I ate my fill, and then dinner came. Yeah. That's the kind of wedding I'm used to going to. But uh, I got there and I realized I didn't have that wedding present for them, but I did have these. Five pants of music boxes, but the Toy Story Grand Central Station that I duct taped together. And they're kind of nice, they suggest a chord. Listen, a chord progression. So uh, anyway, I call this tune Ring on the Roses because I was in Ireland when I named it. When we were traveling through Ireland, Ireland you tend to call things like Ring on the Roses. But also because love is grand. And when I was in uh, middle school, I got this, in this big argument with my teacher when I was at New York. She just learned to shut my mouth when I was in school. Jesus. Because uh, she said you couldn't use, you couldn't use roses in, in, as a metaphor in writing because it was a cliche. You see, I grew up in the country, and you had to rip a multi-floor rose, which is this 20 rows with lots of thorns, off the barbed wire fences. And you had with bloody hands. And the time I had this pony that got locked jaw, tetanus, uh, died, was pregnant, fell over with a plump bag, buried the, the pony, and then roses grew over its grave. So don't tell me roses are cliche. If you think they're cliche, it's because you fucking don't know anything fucking about them, fuck you. <laughs> so then this is a song about love. With no irony. <laughs> irony make New York boring ultimately. <laughs> and art in the US boring. Fuck it.
Thank you.